Spirulina is a type of bacteria called cyanobacterium, commonly known as blue-green algae. Spirulina contains 40-80% protein content, and its growth rate is very high. For human nutrition, it is cultivated in large scale, in clean waters, and under controlled conditions. Tropical and subtropical regions are well-suited places for spirulina growing. Commercial spirulina cultivation on rooftops is usually carried out in transparent PVC or other plastic containers. For single or multiple plastic containers, the standard size of each container is 1,000 liters of water capacity. However, small plastic containers can also be used. Covering of each plastic container with transparent covers will help increase the temperature, decrease water evaporation, and helps reduce chances of contamination. The water level height in the containers should be maintained at 20 to 30 centimeters. 25 centimeters is ideal water level height. The ideal pH value culture medium should be between 8 to 11 ranges. Ideally, for uniform growth and uniform harvesting, 100 grams of mother spirulina is added for every 100 liters of water. For maximum production and proper growth rate of each organism, that culture has to be stirred constantly. Stirring the culture helps all the spirulina organisms reaching to the top that they can take carbon dioxide and solar energy for photosynthesis. For stirring water in this project, air pump is used. Air pump is automatically run for one hour, every half hour, during daytime only. Spirulina needs exposure to light. The light intensity between 20 to 30 K lux is found to be ideal for spirulina farming. For a high production with high protein content, a temperature between 30 degrees to 35 degrees Celsius is ideal. It cannot survive in temperatures less than 20 degrees Celsius. They can also tolerate low temperatures 15 degrees Celsius during nights and 40 degrees Celsius for a few hours in the daytime. The algae bacterium starts to double in biomass within three to five days. The matured spirulina changes from light to dark green in color. In general, the pond will be ready for harvest after five days after seeding process is done. At the time of harvesting, all extraneous materials can be removed from the culture medium by using a fine wire mesh frame. Culture is collected in a container and poured onto the cloth. The culture medium flows back into the pond, leaving spirulina on the cloth. After filtering, the collected spirulina is thoroughly washed in distilled water to remove any traces of salts, contaminants, or culture medium residue. Fresh spirulina cannot last more than two days, hence it needs to be dried to preserve its nutritional values and to last for a longer duration. Shortening the drying period will lessen contaminators. Ovens that run electrically or solar powered can be used to speed drying. The temperature in the oven when maintained at 60 degrees Celsius takes about 4 hours, while 40 degrees Celsius takes about 15 to 16 hours for spirulina drying. 1 kilogram of dry spirulina can be obtained from 1000 liters of water per week. Vacuum dried and airtight packing spirulina will preserve the nutritional qualities up to 3 to 4 years.